Hi. Um, in the previous session, we have completed the installation of the grid infrastructure. So, in uh, today, in this session, we will be uh, installing. Uh, or we, we now next step is that we have to go ahead with the, the RDBM software installation, and then we have to create the database. So, the the database we will be creating on ASM. So. Uh, what we need is that we need to have a dedicated disk group for storing our database files. In the previous version, that is in Oracle 10G, the DBCA, during the DBCA screen itself, we could have created the ASM disk groups that is required for the database storage. But uh, on Oracle 11G, the, a, the DBCA don't support the disk group creation. For that, there is another utility known as ASM CA. That is ASM Configuration Assistant. So in this session, we will be seeing how to invoke the ASM Configuration Assistant and how to um, create a disk group for uh, storing our database. So we'll start our, we'll start with our putty session. We'll be connecting to our uh, machine. It will be the grid infrastructure uh, or the ASM CA has to be executed by the grid infrastructure owner. So in our case, the grid infrastructure owner is grid and the password uh, we are giving. And to set up the environmental variables for accessing the grid infrastructure, for example, if I am just giving ASMCA, it, it is saying that the command doesn't found because I have not set the um, the uh, environmental variables or I have not completed the environmental setups for accessing the, the uh, uh, grid infrastructure binaries. So I can do that one by setting my environmental variable to the ASM instance. So I can issue the command dot space or a env and give the ASM instance name plus ASM1. Okay. Now if I am giving ASM CA, it uh, will be identifying. Okay. It is complaining that I have not set up my display. So what I'll do that I'll uh, export my display. Export display equal to 10 dot 17 dot 57 dot 7 colon 0 dot 0 that is the local IP address of my uh, machine now I'll, I can uh, confirm that one by giving the X clock but we have already seen that how to do the testing so we'll just straight away go with the ASM CA configuration assistant Okay, now we are getting the screen for the ASM uh, configuration assistant. We can see that there are a lot of information like the ASM instances which are available. We have that uh, we have the two ASM instances that is versus the 11G R24 uh, as well as 25. And we will be when you are clicking on the disk groups, it's showing the the existing disk group that is available. It's just taking some time to. Um, reflect uh, refresh the screen so what you can do is that we can just click on the create a button okay and we can give a disk group name by by this one we can see that the the disk disk which was been already been taken by the other uh, disk group for our CRS disk group where in which we have stored our voting disk and the um, OCR it's not available now we have only one disk that is a data disk, disk which we created by using the oracle cm oracle asm create disk command now we will create the we will create the disk group we will be giving the disk group name as slash I means data and we will take the external redundancy because we have only one disk is there we will just select the disk and uh, just click on ok button okay now ASMCA is creating the disk group. Once the disk group is created, it will be mounting on both the ASM instance. Certain times I have observed that it is not mounting on the second uh, ASM instance. So there we have an option to mount all uh, command. Just click on the mount all, so it uh, it will automatically mount it on both the ASM instance. It says the uh, ASM disk group creation is completed successfully. Just click OK, and we can see that the data disk group is mounted on both the nodes hope this is clear now with this disk group we will be able to create our database on this particular uh, disk group the next uh, session we will be going ahead with the installing the oracle rdbms software on a rack environment thank you